guys and welcome to the SCA and CFD. Today we will be, this will actually be kind of a long video because we are reviewing a lot of things. We'll re be reviewing our classics minifigures and some very cool trucks. These are actually Legos so do not, please don't post in the comment, look at those fake Legos. Because those are Legos and I will prove it to you later on in this video. We will be reviewing some speed champions that we have. Now, note that these aren't all original because they are a bit old to us, actually. They might not be old. Your stores might sell them, but we have had them for a while. This being our oldest, the yellow Corvette. And the Ferrari being our youngest. Yes. Was it our youngest? Yeah. Something around there. We will also be doing how to build your very own sig fig. Now, this is kind of a lame jar because there's only one thing in it, but... And then we'll have a surprise for you at the end of the video. Mm -hmm. So let's get started with the sig figs. Let's bring these cups over here. Let's start out with the first cup. So in here you have your torsos. Torsos are pretty cool. So what you're going to do first. Let me move our light. Sorry about that. So first, you're going to have the cup. You're going to find a torso that you like. As a matter of fact, I can pull up my Lego Life account so that I, I can show you. But please post which torso you like in the comments. The first torso, second torso, third torso, fourth torso, fifth torso, or the last one, the sixth torso. Post which one is your favorite. And then post your favorite minifigure. Then we're going to have the jar of legs, or pants, I should say, actually. And then you will have your heads, your hair, your cloth, and your accessories. Capes and stuff. Yeah. So what the cloths are. Um, let me pour these out so that you guys can look through them. That's right. So, number one, number two, right there. number three, number four, number five, and then, um, oh, no, this is number six, number five, and this is actually number four. And they all match the shirts. Okay. So. Let's start off with the Lego Life Sig Figs. Here's my Sig Fig. My name is Secretary Zanny Anteater. Go ahead and send me a friend request if you guys have a Lego Life account. If not, it's free to do. And 100% awesome. Fine. Fun. The moderators will make sure nothing is inappropriate. So, for if your kid's watching that, if your kid's watching this video, go ahead and do it. It's perfectly fine, kid-friendly, only Lego creations, and sometimes people do sneak non-Lego, but those will get taken off. So, this is me. A soccer outfit, Octan soccer outfit. The glasses, the aviators, the hair, which we have. We have all of these clothes in our pile. So, let's get started. Let's keep this off to the side. We'll just keep that like that. You guys look at it sideways if you want. If not, sorry for that. If I'm not, here, we'll put it right here. So, first we're going to start off with our torso. This is the complete torso. You look from the front, back, all nice and good. Then the blue pants, not, not really much design. I have the original pants somewhere, just not sure. They, I have a giant box of minifigures so gotta search that I will post original pants soon if I find them then you're gonna go to your heads jar personally I will show you my favorite sig fig because we've had all of these built at once this is not my favorite actually this is just I couldn't design my favorite on there but that's and then we got the it. hair and helmets because this figure has no cloth so what you're going to do is you're going to put on the hair. Now look at that. Here we have 
the sig fig. Sig fig stands for signature figure. You're gonna turn them around, all nice, all matching. His arms can't do that, but here he is. He's all nice and matching. So there's your sig fig. Put that if you get side. a Lego Life account and you have the parts to build the figure that you've designed on there, go ahead and do it. It seems pretty cool. Gets you a lot of likes. So this is Corporal Faithful Dragon, which is me. Which is my brother here filming with me. Now let's build his account. Would you like to build it? Um, sure. Alright. So, a bunch of people have it from the Lego Movie 2, the Emmett body. The one from the Lego Movie 2, see how there's all the scratches there? The first one does not have the scratches and that will not work if you make a body with um, that one because it has the scratches on Lego Life. You can see. The I'm scratches. Gonna... Kind of hard to see, but if you get Lego Life, you will, un you will notice. Then we're going to go to the heads. Same head as me. Pretty cool. And then this is, we call it Elvis hair. Um, we don't have that Elvis hair, so we got the closest thing to it. Spiky hair. But that's my sig fig. That's funny story, we actually lost his original sig fig at Outback, I believe it was. That's not really funny. Well, not funny, <laughs> but it's kind of a story. Um... We lost the original Sig Figure out back, so we're like, hey, why not build one exactly like it? So, the next morning, woke up, build one exactly the same. No difference. Except it's not the same. Like, it looks the same, it's not the exact one. Next, we're going to build one that I call Rex. Rex, everybody calls him Rex. Everybody calls him Rex, but this one is a bit different. He's the jetpack Rex. So if you got Emmett's flying spaceship house, you should have gotten this Rex in it. If not, I'm sorry for you, that's probably not a Lego, unless you had missing parts. So here's his jetpack. You probably had that. Actually, you should have that. Unless it was missing a lot And of then, parts. also from Benny's space crew. This is Benny's face, the scared face, and the happy face. Now so, that's not how the original figure is, but we're showing you how to build some custom ones. This is personally my favorite, and it's similar to this from the future. This this was actually a remake of the classic heads. If you look there, the original classic gang, see these are from Benny's Space Squad, that's Benny's face now. But the original heads, which you could see right in these guys, these guys are all original, none are remakes that we know of. And that dog in there is also a classic, but we'll get more into that later. We'll show you those guys later and show you kind of how Benny's... Now, Benny's Space Quad, except for Benny, Benny's a bit different. Space Quad has not original, but exact remakes. Benny's face is probably a classic one. Benny's face is the classic. The rest are remakes. Anyways, Except that's... for the yellow guy's helmet. That's also a real antique helmet. Yes. <coughs> Sorry about that. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab the helmet and you're going to get the glass in. The reason why you should do this first is because you don't want to lose that glass. I don't remember if it came with seconds. Um, I don't remember. I think it did. I think it came with one. But still. You don't want to lose your Legos. We hate losing Legos. We lost one in North Carolina. Not a fun experience. Especially since my back was killed and I couldn't find one. So what you're going to do is you're going to get Benny's head and put it on there. Which you should have if you got the Space Squad. Um, I, I don't think there are any other sets that come with this. There might be. This, I think the, his original spaceship might come with this face. I'm not sure I don't have that. If you got, if it does, go ahead and post that in the comments. Put Benny's original spaceship comes with this face from the Lego movie. One. Or any other set. So here's your figure. Now, the cool thing about this guy is that I also got him a hair. So you're going to put that... I put this hair because it personally looks like my hair, and I like this hair. The only problem with this hair, though, is it shows his face. But if you got Rex's original hair, which actually does come in this set, too, they give you hair and a helmet, you can put that on, and it will cover up completely 100%. Um, this one won't, though, but I like it, so that's why I have it on there. Then he also has his helmet, which he can hold 
Or put on whichever one you want. He can't hold his hair, unfortunately. <laughs> that makes him look like one. he has a wig. Hey, I just took my wig off. And then if you want, you can put the jetpack on if he's going on an adventure or something. Yep, he can hold the jetpack, actually. You just have to take the lightning out. Probably won't be on when he's holding it, or else he'll go for a whoopsie <laughs> into outer space. Then the Mars missions will have to get him. Anyways, let's put this guy off to the side. Now, if you have a Lego Life account and you look at Sa Secretary Zanny Anteater, this guy will mainly be in it. Can you see him? Yep. But and then from now on, this guy will be in there. Lloyd might be in one or two of them. I will post some other pictures with Lloyd. But here are some of the pictures I took. Most of them have been done in North Carolina. There used to be this thing called the Infinite Glitch. Where you can post under as many groups as you want. Lego fixed that problem. Thank goodness. We knew how to do it. They fixed it the day that this video was uploaded actually. So thankfully. We knew how to do it. Um, we didn't post anywhere that we wouldn't use it. But I'm probably not going to use it. I wouldn't use it a lot. Because that just seems unfair. The reason why we used it though. Was because all of the um, bigger. Like more Uncle famous. Lady Marshmallow and um, Corporal Crafty Belt. And all those people were calling the home page because home they had a way to do eight groups. And they said that wasn't glitching, so we didn't think that was fair. Now, don't get me wrong. I personally love those posts. I think that Maggie, Uncle Elated Marshmallow, if you're watching this, shout out to you. Maggie is pretty awesome. But please let other people get a chance to go on the home page. Yeah, agreed. But I really like looking at your Maggie adventures. And, hey! That's not nice. I like Maggie Adventures. I know you do, Rex, but we gotta let other people get on the home page. Okay. Ouch. I'm okay. All right, bye, Rex. So, let's do the Lloyd next. I think it's pronounced Lloyd, but Garmin and I call him Lloyd, and that's just weird. That's just. Straight up confusing. I like Lo Lo Lloyd better. Yes. Now, Lo my favorite scene from the movie is probably the scene where his arm fell off. Don't I like Lloyd, but I like when his father's like, it's going to hurt, it's going to hurt, and it doesn't hurt. Mm. Anyways, let's get into the Lloyd. So, this torso I actually got from Mystery Figures. I lost his original pants, but I like these pants better. So, that's pretty much the Lloyd right there. He's the Green Ninja. Why not give him green pants? Yeah. So, exactly. So now Lloyd we had four of our figures done and complete. Next, we're going to build the green businessman. Now, you'll find out why I call him the businessman in a minute. Oh, yes. I forgot to build Rex's gun. So, sorry about that. Let's build his gun real quick. You get this gun from the movie maker, and it's straight up simple to build. There's three parts, which most people can prob probably find, although that green dot has a hole in it, so not a lot of people have that. It is raining there, so sorry for the thunder. That's kind of loud. But I think you guys can still hear us. Anyways, we're done with these cups, so I'll just go ahead and put them off to the side. Let's build... Red businessman or green businessman? Green first. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to get this cape. You can get it from the Harry Potter Quidditch match. The only re This is actually from that. The only reason I took it is because I don't know what happened to my, sec my second red cape. I had two, one red cape and two green capes. Are you so, sure that's what I call them? Yeah. Oh, okay. They get capes. I just didn't put them on anybody because I only had one red cape. So Lego forgot to put that in there, but I still like Lego. Don't get me wrong. I love Lego. And actually on their website, they have a thing to order extra parts. I just didn't know about that until too late. And then the cool thing about this figure is it's two capes. And this one is a tiny cape that you put on the neck and it goes up like that. Um, we got this one off of... I have no idea. I just call him Doctor Strange because he looks strange. And he looks like a doctor vampire doctor but we took that off of him this is green businessman now for those of you that like to like like money and like the riddler 
This is from the Riddler, the Lego Batman movie, his car set. But if you like green and you like money, this guy's for you. Let's put him off to the side. Our last but not least sig fig is the Red Bandit. That's He's the Red Businessman, Red Bandit. The reason why we call him that is because it's bandana. That should be the red bandana. We could call him that. The red bandana. But why do you call him the green businessman? He looks businessy. Also, he looks like hard, cold cash. Except he's not For cold. Unless he's he robbed. Be. He might be. He, he might, might be, um, like, literally cold. cold. But he has so many capes on. So here's his robber hat. And then his red pig. Bug life. Um, this shirt, we're not sure what it, it's from, but it's basically the only thing on him that has design other than his head. Everything else and is Dana just kind of had his design, but... Not with ink printing. Yeah. So we'll put this guy off to the side. So go ahead and check him out. Let's put him here. They can all stand. The capes will not get in their feet unless you have them bent over. All of them can stand perfectly fine. These two are best friends. And then there's SCA and CFD. Those are our initials for Corporal Fulton. SZ, not C. I said Z. Z, not C, just to let you know. And then this guy can get his accessories. And a jetpack. But that's the lineup of figures. Who's your favorite? Go ahead and post that in the comments. Who is your favorite sig fig? CFD, SZA, Lloyd, go ahead and put L-A-L-O-Y-D, because I like that better. Green Businessman, whoops, don't try to evade me. Green Businessman, <laughs> Rex, you could also call him Buddy. I like Buddy too. And then Red Businessman. Mobster. Mobster, Red Businessman. Red, Red Knight. Basically, whatever. just put red whatever. If you put red whatever, it'll work. So go ahead and post that in the comments below. Hit that subscribe, hit that bell, and let's get moving to our next session. Let's review the classics. Because they have had their 60th or 40th anniversary. They have had an anniversary recently i think it would be 60th because um in our big lego book it says 30th and that was released in like 1980 or something yes very old lego book anyways let's get into this let's start with these guys first starting with our oldest to our newest these are from 1955 and these are legos these are legos they're from the lego system series yeah, the I Lego believe. system. Now, the truth behind the system is somebody told old Kirk Christian, who was the creator of Lego, that he had no system for Legos. Because so, he so, had wooden ducks and things, but there was no actual series. No system. So what he did was he created a Lego system. Which now, had building in the, bricks. In the system, he had building bricks, no minifigures. Can you believe that? We're discriminated against. No, you're just very new. Don't talk like that. But some people, including our father, built it using bricks. That's how they built their figures. And true story about this truck, the red SO truck. What happened, this was my dad's original. So what happened was, we were looking at it. He, ha he had it ever since he was a kid. Now, if you look right there, you're going to have to zoom in very close, try to get focused. It says Lego. And so I was playing with it. He had no idea this was a Lego. I was playing with it, and I said, hey, look, this is Lego. He's like, no, it's not. So I showed it to him, and we're like, oh my gosh, it's Lego. Then we found, then we researched the trucks and found out which year they were from. Then we looked on eBay, very trustworthy site, except, I don't know about other things, but every single time we've ordered a Lego, it's gotten here. Then we found a Shell truck. Now, Shell and SO, oops, I did not damage it, I promise you. Shell and SO were very popular gas stations. I don't know if they still have SO anymore. But I know they still have shells. Esso was popular back then. And that's how we got our trucks. They're pretty nice. 
They don't roll good on there. That could damage their wheels. But they roll nice on this surface. So these are some really cool trucks. They make screeching because they're old and they've got metal tires. But they're really cool. I would not recommend squirting WD-40 on that. For those of you that like to make your things non screech that would do something, I bet you. If you have one, go ahead and post in the comments that you have an antique Lego. And if you have any of the ones we have, say what you have. Whether it's some of these trucks or the brick built figures. So, what we're going to do is, this one's kind of hard to review. But let's open these glass cases. Or plastic, actually. But let's start off with the spaceship. Because this is one of the vehicles. Now, we only broke it so I could go in here, but we will not have it broken in Lego City. If you see some boxes or some stuff, please note that we are remodeling the room. We are going to get a whole new Lego City. We will do a review the minute it is done. Maybe not the minute, but we will do a review on it. But this is the spaceship. Um, they had a bunch of these. Like This is the antique logo. And, and that's what the spaceships looked like. They actually carried it on, which is really cool. Here's the Here's Benny. Benny. Now, let's grab one more person. I think this is Jenny. Which color, Jenny? I have no idea which one's Jenny. It's Jenny, Kenny, Benny, Lenny. Jenny, Kenny, and Lenny. I don't the know. yellow one's Kenny, and that's Lenny. Or it might be Jenny, I don't know. I know the yellow one's Lenny, and that's definitely Benny. Now, if you look at this face, this one is higher than this smile. You can see it. Kind of hard to tell, but they are. Because when you put on this mask on Jenny, look, her smile appears. Right there, perfectly. But when you put this mask on Benny, it's slower. And the reason because of that is because this is the remake from 2019, but this is an actual antique head. Mm -hmm. Oops, sorry about that. So... We can have Benny climb the spaceship since he's adored with spaceships. I think they are. So let's pull Oops. out our other for that two glass antique Benny. figures. Here we have Lenny. No, that's Kenny. Kenny. Whatever. And we actually had an original of this, but uh, I threw away his pants because I forgot him on my lunch tray and I threw the lunch tray away. But that's an antique helmet. This is original antique helmet. But everything else is a remake from 2019, like a movie too. Oops. Then we have the white astronaut, Lenny. Lenny. So it goes Lenny, Kenny, Benny, and Jenny. Um, is that red square supposed to be on him, or is that just there to hold him? Just there to hold him. And um, in in the old days when they had these, they didn't actually have pink, but rather a red. They had a red one. They also had a black, a black one. one. Yeah. I don't know if there's any colors that were missing. I think they had a clear one. If they had a clear, clear. one. Clear? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to check our minifigure book. I'm not sure. Don't. Go. You can go fact check that. I'm not sure. Um, then here's a little robot. Oh, we are also forgetting the car. They had little robots back then. Beep, blah, blah. I don't know. Oh. His arm falls off a lot. Like, I, don't know. I don't know if Lego designed it like that because on the back of the box they showed his arm falling off and Benny screaming in horror. They did? Yes, they did. Oh, and he was holding the arm. I never examined the back of this box. Then the broom broom car. Um, room for two. You need a ride? Yeah. Hey, I offered the yellow guy. Okay. So, anyways, broom broom. Run over Benny's thing. And that's a space squad. Pretty cool. Highly recommend it. And let's review this guy next. He can go with the space squad because he's related to him. Now, all of the 99.9% .9 of them are antique. Yes. Well, like every single figure is antique. These two are antique. That's an antique. I'm not sure about the shirt. This is an antique. That's an antique. That's an antique. I don't think the helmet is. That's an antique. And then this guy is an antique, although I don't think his hat is. Mm -hmm. 
But let's look at him. Now, if you look on his shirt, he has the white one, the blue one, the orange one, yellow. and the red one. It's yellow. Or yellow, sorry. And the red one is representing the pink one because they had a red one in the old days. But for some reason, they put a pink. Now, that's, that's fine. Still fine because who cares? It's Lego. He's got a scratched face from age. A lot of them have scratched faces. But that's about it. For that figure. For the space squad. So space squad, you're no longer famous right now. Oh! Um, let's review the police officers, shall we? Um, they're both police officers. One's a squad, actually. Where, where'd he go? Wait. So, I don't know if he's actually a SWAT, I don't think so, but we just call him a SWAT. But these are our two police officers and their police dog. Now, the dog is pretty cool. We got it from the flea market. But here he is. He's from the 1980s, I think it was. 80s, 90s, something. So, these are pretty cool. He has dot eyes. We have a shark with dot eyes. A bunch of those. But they're with all our other Legos at storage right now. Because we are remodeling our room, like I said. Um, the sheriff is wearing these cool glasses, because I'm all cool and stuff. Well, they both are. This is the sheriff. That's the swap. And I think that's actually really cool. Did you know that the original Lego police were not like this? They were model... They were like Lincoln Log figures, if you guys play with Lincoln Logs. And they had positions. And they were either holding a whistle up to their mouth with their arm out, like, straight, directing traffic. Oh, that was before they even had bricks. That was yeah. a long time ago. Um, if you guys are from that time, um, you might have played with those. Um, you might not remember, but you probably played with Legos. My mom didn't. My dad did. He was surprised when I found out the Esso Chuck was Lego. a Lego. He didn't know that. Let's move on to the guy I call Where's Waldo. Because he looks like a Waldo. I actually call... It's Waldo. Not Waldo. And I actually call him Where's Weirdo, not Where's Waldo. Mm -hmm. Now, his face looks cool, but then you lift his mask and it reveals some sort of crazed, possessed demon. So, I think that he's actually a criminal and those are his stripes. And he's wearing a red and white jumpsuit. Yeah, he does look possessed. So I call him Where's Weirdo. And we have three more figures to go. Hey, I'm a nice guy. <laughs> it's very sinister. Very possessed. Please get him. <laughs> on, that really? actually looks really wrong. And here is... Um, I have the no townsperson. I don't I know think what he's the mail that delivery. That symbol means no. That's the mail delivery because I was reading a book about old Legos. I don't know if that's his real face, but it said that that was the old Lego delivery symbol. And his, I can't tell if that's a bandana or take the hat off. That's a belt around his head. If you can bandana, no, it's a belt actually. Kind of hard to see, but there's a belt loop right between his eyes. I don't know why he's wearing a belt. That's a letter C. That's that's a letter C. Look at that. That's a letter C. Okay. So it's a bandana. Let's say his name is Carl. Yes, we'll call him Carl, Carl the mail deliver. E guy. The mail delivery guy. Um. So let's put him off to the side and we do B guy next. Um. I'm not sure what B stands for. You know? It was some space symbol. I forget the name. But it, it, there were some astronauts that wore it. I think it was space or some spy agency or something. I don't know what it's from. And his glasses are like the police officers. Let me grab them. Except he has a um, scratched mouth. Had to have too much soap in his mouth. Install his face cells off. So let's Here go on go. to the race car driver. Um, he's pretty cool. He's an octan driver. You can see that. You can scoot it back if you want. But if you look at his face, he's got um, a talking to microphone 
like he talks into the microphone and then octane guy right here is um his instructor for where to drive he's got a scratch on his shirt he actually has the o in checkers like the checkered flag so I, you know he's from octane if you can't tell the symbol and that's all of our antique figures and all of our figures are right here should we review the Speed Champions or should we review the surprise? Uh, Speed Champions, then surprise. Alright, and then. And since you guys have been very good people, subscribe and get a free cake. Yes. So let's do the cars from newest to oldest. Oh, yeah, newest to oldest. So let's start with the Ferrari. Um, the Ferrari is not 100% original, but it's pretty cool. It drives. That's something to be proud about. Uh, yes, our Italian Lego flag. Um, Ferrari was actually made in Italy. Can I see the flag? Yeah. Let's put the flag right here on the car. And that's a very cool flag pole. As you can see, it's got shiny. Let's put it back on the surprise. Yes. P.S. The surprise starts with an M. Pause the video and put your guesses in the comments below. If you get it right, you get a free cookie. Free cake. Free cake, okay. It's not the one I'm sending you because I touched it. <laughs> so, boom, boom. Also on the back, I added on some golden rings. You could get those from Lord of the Rings or the Hulk Buster. Obviously, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> right. Although, those are old sets. They don't make those anymore. They make the Hulk Buster. Right, but they don't make the Lords of the Rings. Yeah. Not the very big, expensive Hulkbuster. The one that has the cannon in it. like the cannon Yeah, the shooter. Overriders cannon. And cannon. then... Um, oh, we should do a review on that. Yeah. We're going to do a review um, soon on something not in Avengers Infinity Endgame. Although, it's from Brick Bros UK. We built it. Yay. Shout out to Brick Bros UK. Awesome build. It's pretty sick. Um, combination of two sets. Awesome. Um, let's park this on top of the table. Ow! No, I'm just kidding. We can put this back, because we don't want people to get hurt. Now, I think... No, that was our oldest. I think this came next. Yes, it did. No, it didn't. No, it did I don't know. I think this came yet next. Did we go to North Carolina, or... We yeah. We got those first. We got these in North Carolina, we got those af after. Alright, so... This is missing a piece right there. It's on the surprise. But it's really cool. It's the Porsche 911. 911, 911, whatever you want to call it. And it drives. Yay! We or actually. 911. Porsche 911. We actually do have a car that doesn't drive. It's our oldest. Um, if you guys know how to make the wheels turn again, I mean, it moves a bit. We used WD 40, that didn't really help. Yeah, if you guys know how to make the wheels turn again, please post that in the comments. I will do a shout out to whoever posts it in the next video. If it works. If it doesn't work, I will not do a shout out. But next we have these two because we got these ones at the exact same time. This is the M Sport. I'm not sure if that's 100% original. I think it's missing the bumper right there. But whatever it is, um, MSR2, M Sport. I didn't even know that was a car. <laughs> and it's then, Rally Racer. And then this is the Lego Ford Speed Champions. It's pretty cool. And then like, these drive. We can go ahead and put these back. And then here's our final car. And honestly, it's pretty cool. One of our parents' friends has this car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or similar. It might not be the exact, but it's similar. No, I think it is. This is the one that's wheels don't move. They don't move good. They stop after a while. Look. But it's the yellow See? Corvette. It doesn't go far. I'm using the exact same amount of force. Promise you that. But it's really cool if you can see how there's... We Oops, put... Sorry. It's like the stickers are really destroyed. We had to put tape, especially this one. Um, we can drive it on here if you think the studs are slowing it down. It actually makes it worse. All my force, it goes that far. But before we do the surprise, just saying. Um, I don't know if they're going around the country. They probably are. But the Art of the Brick, really cool. It came to where we live. Um, we got these. They're magnetic. Um, we can make them stick. 
Yes, we do like lost kitties. So they're pretty, pretty cool. cool. These are actually real Lego bricks. They're just engraved on there. You can and see. And this is the person's signature. I have no idea who that person is. I think it's the person who booked it all. Nathan. Say -a? Sorry, -a? I can't read. I can't read that. Sorry if you're watching this video. No offense to you. I um, can't read cursive. We're not good at cursive. I and mean, we're good at writing it, but we're not good at reading it. So I think the surprise comes next. Yes, we shall do the surprise. Okay. So the great epic surprise which Hold we built on. which we built last night actually. We built last night in at least twenty minutes, I think it was. Right. But it's was well worth that twenty minutes. The, the surprise mansion. Now, this is pretty cool, pretty sick, pretty awesome. Indeed. The door is open. Right here we have a door that opens. Lots of windows. We have folding guards. Yeah, those are Lego. This gun, I'm not sure. We got it from the Lego festival, not the Lego thing. Um, this is, I don't know if it's real gold or not. But it has the symbol that real gold has. Yeah, so we're still trying to figure that out. It's got the nice curved window up here. Um... The roof comes off. It's got gems growing from some trees next to the Italian flag. Can you hold this, please? Yeah. And the reason why we have the Italian flag is because we're going to get a bunch of Lego Ferrari sets. And we're going to be the owner of Ferrari because we're sick in Lego City. And then there's some diamonds growing on the trees. But let's go inside. Um, no, don't worry, guys. You don't have to look at it from there. Let's take off the roof. Um... And this is not a set. These are just parts that we had in our huge box. Oops. Let's take the roof off. Here, I'll get it. Okay. I've got the camera. All right. It's kind of hard to remove. It is being held together by not much. Let me try over here. Here, I got this side. There we go. It's off. Yippee. Ouch. Light, you burn. Here, I'll move the light. Let's have it shiny in there. Right. Okay. This is the roof. Show them the roof. Oh, gosh. This thing is awesome. Show them the roof. The roof is cool. Um, so we used one of these big platforms. Um, Sorry, I had to turn off the light because it's very hot. But we used one of these for the mansion. This is the roof. It's almost the size. It's the width. And I think it's four studs smaller. Can you put it here? Um, underneath it is being held together by random bricks, but it's still pretty cool. Here we have modern furniture. On um, Lego Life, I will be posting a modern furniture house and furniture house mock. Which is this one. But anyways, it's a pretty big house. It's nice. Those things underneath the skateboards are chests. Don't take them out, but they're chests, and, and they're full of diamonds. These are some shiny um, bricks that we got from the Lego store. Kind of hard to see because they act like mirrors. Super shiny. You might be able to see one if I put my hand in front of it. Like that. Right yep. there. And then we have a nice custom-built treadmill right there. There's a bicycle next to it, so for working out. We do like our workouts. Here's a giant boom box with some trophies on it. The table with lots of yummy food. Two eggs, two cupcakes, an ice cream sandwich, and a pizza. The soft serve ice cream machine. Hallelujah. A coffee maker. Oversized oh, coffee maker. Goes. Yes, like overpriced coffee, oversized coffee maker. No difference. Well, there's a difference. If you go to the Lego house, I've actually seen YouTube videos of it. I've never been. But if you go, they have this thing on the menu. Overpriced coffee, $37. I've never tried it. I don't know if it's good or not. I don't, I don't even know if it's for sale. I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's for sale. But they have it on their menu to joke around. Whether it's joking around or they're really selling it. Yeah, like I'm that. not sure. Um, if you've been, you know, post it. And... Right here. This is the mansion. What are you doing? There's a nice TV right here. Nice curved TV. 
the remote's on the couch along with a coffee pot, and there's a foot stool right there. Coffee pot is pretty cool. Clear minifigure head, a claw, and um, a hand holding brick, like a holding brick. And um, there's a fireplace right here, and a trophy next to it. Um, that's about it for the mo modern mansion. And it's pretty cool. And let's go into further detail on the front. There's a nice brick wall. Um, there's five panels. One of them is the door. And it has two guards, but that's our surprise. On the side, on the back. the back, there are some windows. Side is exactly the same. And that That'd was a nice. surprise. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and check out our other video, the How to Build Lego Soldier, if you haven't seen that yet. If so, thank you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.